forget to subscribe to Brianna's World and click the notification bell. Hi, Hi guys! Welcome back to Brianna's World and today we're going to be doing some science. science. So we got some cool stuff. Skylar, do the honors. Snap your fingers. Three, two, one, snap. Whoa! Look at these. National Geographic STEM kits. So these are some awesome new science kits released uh, under the National Geographic name. And we've got three different ones. So what do we got, Brie? We got the, um, I think this is a shark tooth. You a can... real life shark tooth. So this is supposed to be a real shark tooth fossil inside there that you get to dig. Yeah, you, it has a tool in there. Yep. And we're going to check that out. We're going to find a real fossil. We also have, have we some... think, geos. Yeah, so there's a geode kit. So there's two real geodes. So if you don't know what a geode is, it's basically like a rock that is full of crystals and you break it open and you have real crystals inside. We've got two of those. So Bree and Scott are both gonna open one. And what else we got? We got dig out a dino poop. Dino poop mini dig kit. So there's supposed to be a real dino poop fossil inside the poop. Yes. So we're gonna dig it out, which is gonna be crazy. All right, let's get started. You wanna do the shark tooth um, kit? I'm gonna shark do the tooth first. All right, let's get it. Okay. Okay, Bree is gonna open that with a pair of scissors carefully. Now guys, audience, if you hear any weird noises, it might be because we are building a raft inside the studio. Yes, that is a real bamboo raft that we're gonna ride. So hopefully it won't be too noisy. All right, Bree's getting it open. Uh, and if you wonder which sound it, which one is, it's that one. Well, yeah, we know that's making sound. Okay, so here's what came in the package. We've got the Shark Tooth Mini Dig Kit Learning Guide that has some facts about sharks as well as instructions. We've got the little chisel tool with a brush at the end that you're gonna use to cut this. And then we finally, we have the actual thing itself. So there's a, a Shark Tooth fossil in here. It's made of plaster. We gotta dig it out with the tool. Okay, yeah. I think I know where it is. It, I think I it's I don't know. We're gonna have to dig it and find out. Okay, let's go. Digging in the middle. Okay, so Brie is already starting to dig the shark fossil. Oof, right. I just took out the eye. Now he's bald. He's taking out the eye. I'm a surgeon. Not bald. How can the shark see? He can't. He oh, out here's his an eye. eye. He has a very small eye. He's got an extra eye. I'm <laughs> he has two eyes on Oh, his... wait, no, that's just that's just. Oh, uh, oh, I think Brie found something. What did Ooh, you find, Brie? I found a shark tooth. You found a shark tooth? Yeah. Oh, I see it. I see the ridges on the tip. Which one you got? I think you got a big one. What kind of shark tooth has that? Okay, guys, so this is crazy. So this right here is an extinct shark fossilized tooth. This is what? from a crow shark. And a crow shark was a formidable shark that lived throughout the entire Cretaceous period, which is in the time of the dinosaurs. Ooh. And it got 10 to 15 feet long which is about as big as a great white shark. So Whoa. this was a pretty serious predator. And you can see that there's like ridges in the teeth where it was used to saw prey back and forth. So this is awesome. This is like a dinosaur age fossil. Yes. But I mean, it, it's kind of amazing that you can find this in a product on the shelf. But look, you guys can go get one of these kits and get your own very own shark fossil. You might even get like an extinct one like us. Yep. Okay, so the next one we're gonna review is the Dino Poop Mini Dig Kit. So what's in Inside here. Do you guys know? Um, dino poop. So they, they have, it looks like poop on the outside, uh, but it's not really poop. This this part is just, just like a, a plaster mold. And what's supposed to be inside here is a real fossil of dinosaur poop. That sounds interesting, but disgusting. And kind of disgusting a little bit. Yeah. A little bit disgusting. But you know what? It, it's been been dry for like millions of years, so, so... I, it won't be stinky, I promise. It's actually called a coprolite. Okay, that sounds better. <laughs> okay, all right, let's open it. You know who also likes the poop? It's the llama. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Okay, so just like the shark tooth, we've got the the mini dig kit with the learning guide so we can learn about things. We've also got the tool and the actual poop. fossil poop itself. <laughs> All right, so Skylar's gonna start opening it. So we got to do the last one, so Skylar's gonna do this one. Skylar, I think you should like, yeah, do that. I'm gonna put this away. Okay, how big are the poops? I think this is a, I think this is a compies poop. I don't know, but what we learned from the other fossils is that fossils are really delicate. So when you dig, you gotta be extra careful. You probably get this. All right, Skyler's really going to town on this thing. 
He's cutting it open. Can't wait to see what's inside. This time he's gonna be extra careful though, not to break the fossil like we broke the shark tooth. <laughs> just a little bit, but still. It just felt like a, just and then a huge it. part. Yeah, 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 but, but we, we don't wanna break this one. And then we are sad because we broke it. But we don't wanna be sad this time, so. Cause this is not a sad video. This is supposed to be happy and fun and uh, educational. Educational. <laughs> Doo doo. Okay guys, so I think right here is the thing. So we're gonna dig around it real carefully. Man, it really looks it. like this part. I, I I thought it was just that part. Yeah, I know. Oh, be careful. He got it out. There oh. we go. All right, so here is the final thing. This is actual dinosaur poop that's been fossilized. It looks but like Don't worry chicken. guys, it's not stinky or anything. This is this is like millions of years old. It looks like chicken jerky. <laughs> so according to Sky, this looks like chicken jerky <laughs> or beef jerky. Look at that. <laughs> but that is real fossilized dinosaur poop. Uh, honestly guys, this is pretty cool. This okay. is pretty cool. It's not stinky it's at all. Now the time that we have been waiting. Okay guys, if you've been enjoying this video so far, seeing cool science stuff from National Geographic, give this video a like in five, four, four three, two, two one. one. Like, 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 like. Like, 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 like. <laughs> just kidding, a lot of like. All right, let's open this geode kit. This is one of the most coolest geo kits. I know, this is the one that Brie has been really been waiting for because she's always wanted to have her own geode. I always have like these like friends who have the geodes. And I'm like, they're like just so cool. They have like the, the crystals inside of them. This is a real geo, even though it kind of looks like a rock. It looks like a rock, but it's a geo. It's pretty much a rock, but it's a geo. It's a jagrock. A jagrock. <laughs> jagrock. Okay guys, so here's everything we got. We got the learning guide, we've got two geodes, we've got a little black stand, we've got this magnifying glass, and it comes with a pair of safety goggles. Um, I didn't have a second pair, so Skylar is wearing some other goggles, <laughs> which should be enough to just block the eyes from okay, many so pieces of do it first. Okay, so we're gonna try to cut it open. Now, the kit does not come with a hammer and chisel. Um, there's different methods to do it, uh, but they suggest the chisel being the most precise to keep it from busting open. Um, so we're we're gonna try to do that. We're gonna try to cut a, a thin line around it so hopefully it breaks in half and not in many pieces. Yes. Okay, you ready to get started, Brie? Yep. So Brie is going to chisel. I'm trying to find like a good spot. Here. Yeah, we're, they said to kind of like tap a, a, a gentle line into it so that hopefully when it breaks, it breaks down the middle. Oh, tummy broke. A little piece broke. See? A little piece okay. broke. Okay. All right, keep going, Brie. Hopefully it breaks nice and easy. Yeah. Oh, fell off the stand. The stand is actually pretty cool because it kind of holds the, the jude while you tap it. Oh, I think I make making... Okay, guys, so um, hammering through rock is a lot of work. <laughs> I think I know. Don't so it looks like we've kind of gotten a uh, a nice score line in the middle of it. You can and see then... a line around the whole thing, but we still have some more chiseling to do. Let's do some more chiseling. Or we can use a rock peel. peel um... All right, guys. So I think the uh, the rock was bouncing a bit on the plastic table. Uh, we don't really want it to bounce. Uh, I want the the force of the chisel to go through the rock. So we're gonna do it here on the floor. Watch, Daddy. Chisel it on the floor. Nice concrete floor. Ah, yeah, I feel better. Okay, I think we need to turn this. So this chisel is pretty much ruined. <laughs> so word to the wise, if you don't want to ruin your dad's chisels, maybe get a dollar store chisel or something for this job, because it is going to be toast when you're done. Uh, you need to get some, you're like right in the stone blast range. When you hammer rock, yeah. What are you doing now? Okay, so right now we're we're trying to make more progress on this. We've got this nice little line in the middle of the, the oh. geode, and we're gonna keep hammering it till till we get a nice solid line on all sides. Keep moving this way. It's this rock is a rolling. <laughs> I, the, the instruction manual said it was hard, right? Or like it was a uh, hollow, and they said be very careful with it. It's so delicate. I'm and like wailing on this thing. <laughs> so, right now we're still just trying to, oh. I got mm, some rocks flying out there. Okay, I was just eating some mac and cheese right now. So daddy, we. I just want this thing open. I gotta open another one of these. 
this is like one of two. Yeah, we gotta open, I think it was like, where's that one? We gotta open that one. So I started hammering and I realized, Daddy doesn't have eye protection and we want safety, right? I yeah. need to make sure that like- Daddy, oh. you look very, you look like you're gonna rock and roll one. We're at to get it ready to go swimming, right? Yeah, he's wearing goggles, literally. So there is the masterpiece, whoa. The masterpiece. <laughs> it still looks like a rock. Yeah, but still, it's gonna be. Just rolling all over the place. Yeah, we're well, rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. So, Daddy. Yeah. I have some questions. Okay. While you um. Uh, Whack on this rock. Yeah. Um. What? Wh wh what do you feel about this whacking a rock? <laughs> I feel like I've got two of these things to open and it's gonna be here, we're gonna be here for quite a while. Hmm, what do you feel about the sunglasses? This one feels very solid. It doesn't feel like a hollow rock at all. It just feels like I'm They said it's one. like hollow. Hmm, very hollow. Yeah, some yeah. some geodes are more solid than others. They don't have as much hollow space. Maybe they just thought, oh, this is hollow for some, but not this one. This is special. Maybe it has a lot of crystals inside. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, yeah, he's about to do it. He's Oop. like... That, that was... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of the... Um, the plastic stand. Yeah, okay, plastic I think stand. that's had it. Say goodbye to Mr. Plastic Stand. Give it a good whack, Daddy. Yeah, let's get it now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, he's just like... He's just smacking the rock and it's now opening. <laughs> and it told you not to do this or also break into little pieces. Well, it said you could, but it tried to score it first. And we I think we've scored it pretty good. But now it's rolling because we broke the stand. I don't know if the stand was supposed to hold the rock while you're chiseling or if it's just for displaying. But it's gone. So it's not doing anything now. Poor rock. This looks like it's got a lot of quartz in it. And quartz is a very hard rock. Not soft at all. It must be a very strong rock. Yeah. It must be like... Kinda looks like sword in the, like you know sword in the stone. Kinda looks like that when you have the chisel inside of the like yeah. a little bit inside of the rock. So what are your um what do you think about this right now? Uh, I think I'm not sure how many whacks this is gonna take to get <laughs> for me to get in here. How many whacks has been it so far? I think like uh, about like hundreds. Hundreds, millions, thousands. And it's I wish I had a bigger hammer and a bigger chisel. <laughs> okay guys, so Daddy took a big whack at it with the hammer and it broke into about six pieces. But some of the pieces are pretty big. And like this one. It's this really one. pretty inside. It's got all these white shining sparkling crystals. Daddy, can this you have- This one's big chunk. Yeah, this, one, this one's a really cool one. Can I have this one? Sure. sure. Thank you. Look at all the, I don't know if you can oh see Oh my goodness, it smells so good. <laughs> Does that even count? I'm not like sure if we're gonna open the next one, too. Oh yeah, we are. Really? We're doing the whole kit. Okay then. Okay guys, so last time I put it in the cardboard that came with the kit, and it actually kept the stone from bouncing around a lot. So this is pretty effective for hammering it. We're gonna start on this next one. Right here. All right, this guy's giving me the uh, thing. He's gonna get his safety goggles on. Or just plug now this one, yeah, this one's way softer. Yeah, already I'm putting a nice line in it. So there's a bunch of different geodes, and this one's clearly a different type. So I think this rock is much easier. Okay, that was just like solid. Ooh, I see a couple of crystals. Yeah, that was from the other geode. That looked beautiful. Oh, not yet. You see some of the crystals in it. So apparently they said geodes form like in volcanic rocks where the volcanic, uh, the lava, I guess heats up a mineral and it crystallizes on the inside and the stone on the outside protects it. That's why it's so hot. That's why you have nice crystals on the inside. Uh oh, daddy, guess what? This thing broke. Yep, I know. Whoa, look at that. Oh well, guys, look, whoa, it looks like the same crystal, but more smaller. This one, yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot of crystals on the inside. There, there are some, there are some there, but it, we don't have a big, big opening like the other one. This was a part of it. I'm wondering if I should break open some more. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'll probably get, get another, another whack, maybe right in the center where the crystals are. I, th I think it'll make a lot more 
Okay guys, so I think that this one was quartz. We had to cut it up in a couple pieces because we didn't see any big air pockets in there. Well, there's definitely some crystals in there. It looks like uh, standard quartz crystals. Um, and I think we looked it up and the other one looks like druzy quartz, which is kind of like a creamy, tiny crystals that form with some bluish tints on the outside. So It's very pretty. Very pretty. I like the druzy quartz okay, a lot. I think that one's like is so intense hard. Yeah, this one was a lot tougher to get open. Oh, I almost forgot. We've got the magnifying glass. Sabri is looking at the crystals with the magnifying glass. Looks very pretty. You can, can you see, see the, the crystals better, Bri? I can see all the details. That does look like a cave. Kind of. It looks like a, like a, like a uh, crystal cave. Yeah, it looks like a cave of crystal. Everything is made of crystal. This one too. This one looks like a more of like a gold than one. It doesn't look like mansion. Would you like to see? Yeah. What the heck? These look so. Oh my goodness. That one's like a cave. Whoa. This one looks more like a cave. Really? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Goodness. Well, guys, that was pretty cool. And I got to say, all the stuff that we got in there really felt special. Yes. So if you want to do like a little sciencey experiment, learn something, these are actually a lot of fun. If you want to get some of these, you can get them at Amazon, Target, the Smithsonian shop, all sorts of places. Um, they're pretty easy to find and you can try it yourself. I always wanted a little geode because I was I was like so pretty and so cool. It's like one of my teachers had it at school and I'm just like <gasps> They're amazing, right? And they yeah. come, they come did, from the did, earth naturally. They're awesome. Then, and did then, you like, just after, and then after, the next day after that, I, I looked for like some rocks in like the driveway trying to find <laughs> geos. Right, now you don't have to look through the driveway. You could just go and buy one of the National Geographic kits. Yeah. Okay guys, that's all the time we have for today's episode. If you like this, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't because our channel is awesome yes. and we're gonna have a lot more good stuff coming soon. Yep. If you like anything, toy reviews, just let us know. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye. Bye.